Two years ago, I stood on the TED stage in Arusha, Tanzania. I spoke very briefly about one of my proudest creation. It was a simple machine that changed my life. Before that time, I had never been away from my home in Malawi. I had never used the computer. I had never seen an internet. On stage that day, I was so nervous. My English lost. I wanted to vomit. <laughs> I had never been surrounded by so many Azungu, white people. <laughs> there was a story I couldn't tell you then, but well, I'm feeling good right now. I'd like to share that. William Kakwamba, born August 5th, 1987, is a Malawian inventor, engineer, and author. He gained renown in his country in 2001 when he built a wind turbine to power multiple electrical appliances in his family's house in Wimbe, 23 kilometers east of Kasungu. Using blue gum trees, bicycle parts, and material collected in a local scrap yard. Since then, he has built a solar-powered water pump that supplies the first drinking water in his village and two other wind turbines, the tallest standing at 12 meters 39 feet and is planning two more, including one in Lilongwe, the political capital of Malawi. Kamkwamba was born in a family of relative poverty and relied primarily on farming to survive. William enjoyed playing with his friends, Gilbert and Geoffrey, using recycled materials. A crippled farming forced Kakwamba to drop out of school and he was not able to return to school because his family was unable to afford the tuition. In a desperate attempt to retain his education, Kakwamba began to frequent the local school library. He discovered his love for electronics there. Before, he had once set up a small business repairing his village radios, but this work did not earn him much money. Kakwamba, after reading a book called Using Energy, decided to create a makeshift wind turbine. He experimented with a small model using a cheap dynamo and eventually made a functioning wind turbine that powered some electrical appliances in his family's house. Local farmers and journalists investigate the spinning device and Kakwamba's fame in international news skyrocketed. A blog about his accomplishments was written on Activate and Kakwamba took part in the first event celebrating his particular type of ingenuity called Maker Fair Africa in Ghana in August 2009. When the Daily Times in Blantyre, the commercial capital, wrote a story of Kakwamba's wind turbine in November 2006, the story circulated through the blog spare and TED conference director Emeka Okafo invited Kakwamba to talk at TED Global 2007 in Arusha, Tanzania as a guest. His speech motivated the audience and several ventured capitalists at the conference pledged to help finance his secondary education. His story was covered by Sarah Chidress for the Wall Street Journal. He became a student at African Bible College Christian Academy in Lilongwe. He then went on to receive a scholarship to the African Leadership Academy and in 2014 graduated from Dunmount College in Hanover, New Hampshire. Among other appearances, Kakwamba was interviewed on The Daily Show on 7 October 2009 during which he was playful compared to the fictional hero Angus MacGyver for his impressive scientific ingenuity. In addition, he was invited to and attended the 2011 Google Science Fair introductory meeting where he was a guest speaker. Kakwamba's book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, was selected as a 2013 One Book, One Community title for Loundon County, Vagina's public library system. One Book, One Community is a county-wide reading program that promotes community dialogue and understanding through the shared experience of reading and discussing the same book. Copies of the book were purchased from the AV Semington and Awan Uran Gift Funds. Kwakwamba is the subject of the documentary film William and the Wind May, which won the Grand Jury Prize for Best Documentary Featured at the 2013 South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas.
In 2010, the boy who harnessed the wind was selected as the University of Florida and Boy State University common book required for all incoming students to read. In 2014, it was selected as the common book at Auburn University and University of Michigan College of Engineering as well. William made an appearance at each university to discuss his book and life. In 2013, Time magazine named Kwakwamba one of the 30 people under 30 changing the world. Kwakwamba is featured in the book Extraordinary People by Michael Hurst and is also the subject of a song from the companion album Songs for Extraordinary People. In 2014, Kwakwamba received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Environmental Studies from Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire, where he was elected to Sphinx Senior Honor Society. In 2019, the boy who harnessed the wind was adapted into a film starring Chiweta, a of 4 who also wrote and directed. Once again, it's Jimmy Melika for Historica Africa. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, then please support our growth by liking and sharing this video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.